YouTube to have a site here. And yes, we are going over once again the Delphi murders. And how more bizarre can this case start to get? How more insanely intense can this case get? I just do not get it. I mean, first off, I'd like to say is that I can't believe that the phone footage of, you know, Bridge Guy literally wasn't destroyed. Because who knows if this sick individual or individuals, um, what they really were trying to do with this. I mean, I just keep shaking my head now because supposedly we have a suspect. The suspect is Alan. They found the bullet. But in this article, the uh, warrant in, in search to Allen's home still not been revealed, let alone anything else in the case. We're still sitting here waiting for, you know... Things that happen. Things that come out, especially the murder scene picture crime pictures. Now, I don't know where the F all this is going. But now, as I was told by my wife one day talking about, oh, the satanic cult people. I mean, that would explain why everybody does, some people do say that there was more than one individual, but yet we only have one man that was uh, seen on the footage, not a group of men, or men with women, or who the hell knows, you know, it's just starting to get really... Like I said, intense and insane. Alan has spoken up about this satanic cult. <laughs> Let alone admitting he did it. But. Suspect identified. Purdue professor. Say. Police withheld info. Now, this does not say who did it. Um, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Purdue professor, identified Purdue professor, say police withheld. So, yes, it, with that title, it looks like it's saying the Purdue professor say police withheld info. People get this probably confused, but um, a professor at Purdue University is involved. <laughs> I mean, we go from bridge guy working from a meat factory cutting meat. You know, think of all the stuff that was brought up from the past. Everything on Bridge Guy that was said. Run your head through all the little info. Every piece of info that would, you know, bring Bridge Guy alive with this you know, sounding like someone from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, let alone the, the crazy stuff that supposedly happened at the crime scene. But yet, the satan satanic ritual people, and now you got a Purdue professor, 
I mean, is this, <laughs> if this case ain't getting any more bizarre. And, um, Odinist symbols. So here we have that a professor at Purdue did not believe sticks on the bodies were on. Oh, I tried looking this up and it went into another friggin' article. Because <laughs> you pressed on that blue. Oh, Din, I don't even know this crap. You know, anything about devil worshiping and. I mean, yes, I do use stuff. Say so, let alone like in my email 666. But you know what? There's a purpose for that. And it ain't got to do with me devil worshiping, nor does it got to do with me believing in the devil. It's just something I use, is right? I don't want to say too much because there's a method to my madness. And to see people like this out there doing crazy crap, worshiping the devil, sacrificing women, babies, goats, you know, all this crazy, stupid, retarded stuff. And I'll tell you something before you jump down my throat about retard. Retard is a new term in my book, meaning someone that knows wrong from right and does wrong anyways. That's a new, everything you know of the word retard in the past has nothing to do with the special um, needs nor the um, mentally challenged as we call them now. It is not that. Retard is someone that knows wrong from right and does wrong anyways. To me, that's a new word that should be put in the dictionary because the people that do wrong anyways... Right, you know, murderers, rapists, you know, people like that, satanic worshipers. That's what I call a retard. Not the mentally challenged. They're more smarter than a retard. That's right. Because, you know, they can do things smart and they do the right thing. That's right. So they're not retarded. The retards are the ones that know right from wrong. I want to make everybody know that that's my new term in the book of learning. That's right. And this right here, these people here that did this to the Abby and Libby are retards. They're stupid. They're dumb. They know right from wrong and they did wrong anyway because they are trying to do something. Something here, right, was done for the simple mere fact that they were trying <laughs> to make right of something but did it the wrong way. And I've been saying it in the beginning. You have your good guys, you have your bad guys. The good guys wanted to take out the bad guys, but they did it in a horrific, retarded manner. That's right. Dummies. Now we're living in a long line of suffering, misery, pain throughout the families, whether or not, you know, they um had a bad name for themselves. You know, you, you gotta think here. Um there's been a lot of things that came out on these families that were pretty messed up. But I'm not bashing because, you know, some people got, some people and individuals in the family shouldn't be there. That's right. And if they're not going to straighten up, well, it's not the other person's fault. I mean, I got 
I'm sure once I make a big one day, you know, I'm going to have all of my dirt on the table. But you know what? I know right from wrong, and I know I need to do the right thing in life. And I've been trying to do that even though I get hammered down, even though when I do right, it always, you know, smacks me in the face. I'm always hit with challenges in life. But I'll be damned if I go try and do something severely wrong that right, it will give me a bad reputation because I'm not that person, man. I'm not that type, even though my past and some of my family's past, you know, it's not good. Hey, what the hell can you do? You got to better yourself and you got to move on. You got to motivate yourself. You got to put that in the past. You got to erase it from your memory and make a better life. But out here in Delphi, right, there's a lot of crooked people out there that did something. Oh, boy. And it's only getting more bizarre, like I say, intense, intensely insane that this stuff that keeps coming out. And you have all this stuff that is a big, huge twist in the case. Everything you know or knew about this case in the beginning is extremely changed. And this is what I'm talking about. It, oh, my God, it just drives you nuts to think. Especially when you got a man in there that rightfully, I believe, is innocent. He's just caught up in the mix of everything. And there you have it where, oh, there was no witnesses on the trail that day. But yet there was a woman that talked to Bridge Guy. You know, there was other people there, but they weren't. You know, you got all this stuff that hangs around that was in the beginning and now it's just like it don't even exist I remember people coming at me because I was oh you don't know nothing about this case you're stupid you're they were insulting me calling me dumb get up with the times blah 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 but everything that they were coming at me for and with and was their beliefs has all now changed and now they got a professor here which, in the past, there was nothing about no Purdue professor. I didn't even think there was anything talking about, you know, satanic ritual stuff. Just a bizarre crime scene in someone's infatuation with dolls. What is the doll thing? Where is the doll thing that happened? If Richard Allen is this killer, did they, did, yeah, they're not coming out with all the evidence was there creepy dolls throughout his house? Was there anything beyond recognition to bring forth this evidence in the prosecutors are all about it? But now this twist comes, another twist, you know, throws the wrench in the engine and cracks the gears of turning. <laughs> Man, you just sit here and you run this through your mind. And I'd like to hear from everybody that commented to me. Even the people, I think the people were scamming me or trolling me, talking about I'm the killer. I was the killer at one time. Can you believe it? Me. People want to put me out there. You're the killer. Turn yourself in. When I was at, you know, I have pictures of me at my effing house taking a picture of moldy bread the day of this murder. It was either the day of the, or the day before I took a picture of moldy bread. And how would I be taking a picture of moldy bread in my house, which I got from a food bank, and drive, I think it's uh, 12, maybe 15 hours to... You know, Delphi from where I live. I'm going to drive all the way, drive all the way back, and then go to the food bank and take a picture. It takes at least two days 
or three days, maybe even four days to have done anything like this. To get there to follow, to get the girls, to murder them, to place them, to move them like the bodies were moved, and to do the um, adjusting of the bodies. That would take me like five or six days maybe tops if I was the murderer to do this. Because all this stuff that happened, it's like, what the fuck? So, I mean, everybody's emotion root. Emotions are running wild on this case. And it's like, Jesus Christ. And just to think, I mean, if you want to check out this interview, this is what you type in. Um, but just to think, man, it's in this trial is like a mockery. It's just... <laughs> It ain't all there, it all don't make sense, and they're not going to never make sense until they bring out every inch of effing proof that they have of the crime scene, which pictures with the phone video that's only 50 seconds. They need the full video, they need the full pictures, not these blurry pictures that someone scammed up and put on the internet like a bunch of a-holes. We have the pictures because you want views. You know, I don't put my monetization on this case because I'm not here to get paid, even though I should, and then I can donate later on. But, yeah, I'm, you know, in the, I, mean, I will do that if I can, you know, once this channel blows up. But, yeah, money-wise, I mean, trying to put up videos and videos day after day, it's still, man, I got to, uh, it's frustrating. My channel's all open, though. Just finding that right video to blow me up. I'd love to put in some time and look at the, you know, statistics of this with my own eyes. Because you know what? I think if I was to go to Delphi, I think I would get the bridge guy to come on out and reveal himself. But he better be careful. Because I don't play nice with others, especially people that like to take lives, innocent lives, because they are a big, monstrous bully. But anyways, this case is, oh God, every time I click on something now, it's like, whoa. And I'm spinning in the circle when I'm talking and trying to get the words out, right? I'm trying to think of the best way to put it. And it's like, whoo, it takes your breath away. <laughs> it's just, I mean, damn. Several people with the direct were dismissed. And so several people were dismissed as potential suspects early in the investigation without reason. And to this, yeah, oldism, I don't even know what the hell that word is. Um, but that's pretty funny that, yeah, these people, the, but then again, these people ain't probably bridge guy. And they probably didn't have nothing to do with it, even though it's a satanic cult. But yet they got a Purdue guy, professor, that was, you know, not revealed. So for them to put this satanic thing in there and then this professor and just, uh, oh, man, the mere fact that they, you know what this is? They're trying to pull away from revealing all the evidence. That's what I think. The real proof that needs to come out. I bet once this evidence, if it ever comes out, the full package, not bits and pieces like they're talking about right here, the full package, something will come out of it. And I think the real killer will be revealed. And it will be a shocker that I predict thoughts, theories, ideas, that's it, that's all that's on this channel, that someone is a good guy, not a bad guy, 
and just because they wanted to get rid of the ring of fire that burned in their state, their town, and they wanted to make this stuff go away is right, which what city or town wouldn't want that to happen, but they did it the wrong way. They did it the wrong way, and they don't want to take accountability for it. So, I leave you with that, folks. Be safe, take care, always beware. Because I believe Mr. Bridge Guy is still out there watching. That's right. Little porky bastard sitting there laughing, giggling. Think it's funny? <laughs> you little giggling little bitch. You ain't nobody. You're just somebody that messed up. Don't want to take accountability for it. That's you're not a man. You're a woman. Little pansy. That's right. Don't want to take accountability for what you've done. But all this twists and turns, buddy, ain't going to save you too long because there's a lot of stuff out there that ain't making it click together. The pieces of the puzzle are not going to be solved or put together correct, correctly. In the maze, you're not going to get out of it correctly. That's right. Because it ain't correct. It's wrong. It's all wrong. You was a bad man. You did bad things. Turn yourself in. Get it over with. Stop putting innocent people in jail. That's right, folks. That's what I think. Thoughts, theories, ideas, my brothers and sisters. Out. Whoops.